Hi, my name is Stephanie Towery and I'm the Copyright Officer at Texas State University. And today I'm going to show you how to find some Creative Commons licensed materials on the internet. Um, specifically, we're going to concentrate on images and we're going to talk a little bit about music as well. So the first thing you do is just go to Google. It's a really uh, simple thing. Um, we're going to actually go to Flickr first. Flickr is a, um, a third party site. Um, I usually, when you go to a third party site, I recommend uh, reading the terms always because that's going to control how you can use the material. Um, and these are the terms and if you, it's fine print. If you don't want to read it, you can ask me to read it for you and I'll explain it in common language. Um, but uh, if you go to a third party site, it, that contract is going to um, affect how you use the material. So even though we're talking about Creative Commons licensed material, the control over how you use them is really going to be those terms of use when you're using a third party site. And so Flickr um, has a way to license by um, Creative Commons. So just go up to the top, you don't have to sign in and select what you want to search for. I'm going to search for salamanders and I'm usually going to want to search photos because that's what I'm looking for. Here I find the photos. This is everyone's photos and you can filter by color um, and patterns and things like that. But what we're talking about today is um, filtering by license. So if you filter by any license, you're going to get copyright protected material that is not openly licensed. You don't just want to cut and paste it. Trust me, um, even though you think you may have fair use, you probably don't. Um, so what we're talking about today is Creative Commons. So you can refine it. Here you can pick all Creative Commons licenses. I don't recommend that because some licenses are more restrictive and wouldn't include your use, even though your use is educational. Um, if you want to modify it, make sure you choose the modifications. And your commercial use, your use may be commercial if you're using it on your web page or if you're using it for any kind of marketing purposes. Um, what I really like to use is no known copyright restrictions. That's going to get you the public domain material and the government works material will be included in that. U.S. government works are also in the public domain. So um, with both of these, that means that you can use them without attribution. I always recommend that you attribute your photos though, as it is a best practice for students and also it um, absolves you from any plagiarism. Um, issues and also you'll know where you got the photo so you know that oh i didn't just copy that from online and it's you'll know that it has no known copyright restrictions so i recommend those but for the purposes of this exercise we're going to select all creative commons licenses so i can show you the pitfalls so this is everyone's photos so i'm going to scroll down and select the one that I want. Um, notice that that's a cat named Salamander, so you do have some issues. Um, I like this one. So in Flickr, each interface is going to be different, but Flickr is going to show you who created it. That's the author, the creator, and then it's going to have the title. Um, if this is a professional photographer, it will be a pro account, so it'll have PRO on the side. If you um, find that this one is protected by copyright and you want to ask permission, you can click on this image and um, it allows you to message them. I believe in order to message people, you do have to create an account and log on. I think that's what that's going to prompt us to do. Yep. So I'm not going to log on. I have an account, um, but I'm not going to go through that whole process. Um, just know uh, that you know, there may be privacy issues in logging on. So this is where the copyright information is. And you notice that it has a person and that it has a loop, right? So you will learn what those icons are, but you can just click this, some rights reserved. So we know that it is protected by copyright. So there's certain restrictions on it. And that links back to the Creative Commons license that um, controls this work. 
So this is an attribution share alike generic, and that basically means that you can use it if you attribute it, but it also means that when whatever you use it in, you must also license it attribution share alike or more openly. So most um, people don't want to do that. They don't want to openly license their own work. They want to uh, just use openly licensed materials. So this one won't work for you. Um, and that's something that you really have to take into consideration unless you're willing to openly license your own course, then you shouldn't use share alike images. So that's one of the pitfalls of uh, choosing all Creative Commons licenses. Um, let's see if we can't find something else. Here's another salamander. This one also says some rights reserved. We're going to click on it because it didn't have that share alike symbol. <gasps> this one is perfect. It is an attribution license and this just means that we can use it. All we have to do is attributive. And attribution is usually pretty easy. It, I have a, a video that I'll include a, um, on here. It's uh, a short reminder that you only have to use title, author, source, and license. So that's called tassel. It's easy to remember. So you would put, for this one, you would put salamander, then Colin Messer, and then source. You would link back to the source and you can get the share link. By, this is going to download it. Um, but I believe this is share photos, so you can get the link from that. Um, and you can also put Flickr. And then the license you're going to have, and it's just going to say attribution 2.0 generic, or you can just put CC by 2.0. Um, sometimes you'll see CC by 4.0. Um, those are just refinements of the license, and they do have different um, requirements you'll see most will be 2.0. Um, that's pretty forgiving. Um, 4.0 requires you the extra step on you. You'll have to link, make all of those portions of the acknowledgement or the attribution linkable. So you'll make it link back to Colin Messer, link back um, to this image, and the license itself will link to that license information. It isn't very difficult to do, but it is an extra step. So that's one way of finding free to share licenses, CC licenses. Um, you can also go to uh, Creative Commons has their own search. So you just go to creativecommons.org and search for CC images. Um, there's some good reasons to use this and there's some kind of um, problems with using this and I'll explain those. So we're gonna pick salamanders here. I used to use rats, but I realized that sometimes it came up with pictures of deceased rats, and that was a little bit um, disturbing. So um, I'm going to pick this one because it's actually, there's problems with this one. Um, but you can see that it's fairly easy. You have the license, the creator, catch and release salamanders, the title, and um, this one actually comes from Flickr. Um, it's Normally, I would say, oh, this is great to get it here because they're going to include this attribution. They've already created the attribution for you. So you can just copy the rich text and paste it in. It's already um, got all the links to it, even though it's not required under this license. Um, or you can copy the HTML if you're putting it online. Um, one of the problems with this particular image is it is share alike. Um, the second is it has a photo of a child in it, and it, we don't have a photo release for this, the considered models. If your image has a person in it, you have to have a photo release for that as well. So even though this person's parent has probably uploaded this, um, it's probably not a good idea to use the image. Um, Creative Commons probably um, machine searches these and probably needs to take out pictures of of people and children. You can see the same issue with this one. This one is a non-commercial license. I'm going to pick this one. One Saucy Salamander Old. I like it. It's a really high quality. It's also share alike though. Um, you can filter. I'll show you how to do that. Licenses. So say, and this will help you. If you can't remember what the different licenses mean, 
You want something that you can modify or adapt or use for commercial purposes. All of these are gonna have CC licenses, but you wanna avoid this by, C by SA. So I would just select CC by, or this is what means public domain and public domain mark. So if you pick those, you're assured to get something that you can use. Here's a good one. We don't have that model problem and we can just go in, copy the rich text and paste it in. And you can also um, copy the photo as well. Um, I think they have downloadable images probably behind the picture. You may just be able to get a share, okay. But otherwise you just have to download the image. And those are two of the best places to find uh, materials. I'm gonna back out to the CC page again. Um, because you'll notice that um, this CC search just searches images. So we're going to go and look at music. And so you're going to go down here to this old CC search portal. Um, it's old. It's, it's not as great as the new one, but it includes clip art. It includes um, media. It includes um, music. Um, I like, you can also go directly to these places, but um, I think you can only search one at a time. Yeah. So I'm going to search CC Mixter and I want to search, um, I want to search jazz. I can put in anything in there. Um, like I could put guitar. Um, it doesn't work for everything because it, it, it depends on what people have tagged their work as. Um, but um, let's see, I think that's all I had to do. Yeah, this is CC Mixer. So it's taking you out to this third party site. You can, um, you can find music here. And this is, this is return to the music as a search and you can see what is tagged. So this is free to share music. This um, means you can use the music any way you want. You can put it in your videos. Um, you can um, play it on your, you know, embed it in your course site. Um, just know that it, it is what it is. So I listen to it. You can download it. You can stream it. Um, I believe it will give you an attribution. Um, yep. So you're going to have to create the attribution. Um, and by that, this is the title, this is the creator, um, it'll give you a link, um, I believe if you just link directly on it, click directly on it, then um, you can link directly here, and the license is CC BY, so that's how you do that. I don't recommend using um, anything that is not a Creative Commons license, music, in your videos. There's lots of problems with that. You can't really rely on fair use for music. So just um, be very careful about that. There are um, Creative Commons. Another way to search for Creative Commons is directly through Google, um, Google Images. So if you go to Google Images, briefly show you that um, just run a search. I will show rats. Okay, if we locked out the you know, deceased rats. You just go over here to tools and usage rights. And you're usually going to want something that's labeled for reuse with modification. If you're going to make changes, you're going to crop the video, um, alter it in any way, um, and label for reuse for everything else. And that's going to give you the most. Um, you will have to make sure that it doesn't have a share alike license. Um, you can also see the source here. Um, I apologize, there is a dead rat there. Um, I hope I don't have to read this video. Um, this is some art. Um, I always recommend if you use Google Images that you go directly to the source and check it out. So you make sure that it is actually um, licensed appropriately. Um, this is probably in the public domain because of the creation. It was created a long time ago, so it has fallen into the public domain. You can use it. You will still um, 
because it's in the public domain, you don't have to attribute it. But uh, once again, it's always best to attribute um, everything um, as best practice for students. I like this a lot. And that's basically it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Once again, I apologize for the deceased rat. Um, so if you have any questions, you can uh, contact me at copyrightoffice at texasstate.edu. Thanks.